going to be fun. And I would love for you guys to come along the journey with me as I get my closet together. Okay? I'm thinking you were made for me. Isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Hey guys, so it's another day. Actually, to be completely honest, it is another week. <laughs> and I still have not finished with my closet. I haven't even started. So I have to take care of those clothes that are up there and just get rid of some, these clothes that I can no longer wear. Let you get a feel of it. My husband's size is a little more organized than mine. But I'm gonna change out his hangers as well. But uh, yeah, I gotta get this taken care of. So here we go. First, I'm gonna start on this side over here, taking care of the clothes down here and just taking things down. I'm looking at stuff that I have not worn in forever. Um, because if I haven't worn it in a while, I'm probably not gonna wear it. If it doesn't fit, I'm gonna go ahead and toss it because I'm not gonna hold on to the fact that, oh, I think I'm, a, I'm losing weight, I'm gonna get back into that. I'm gonna let that go, just let it go. So these are all my dresses, jackets, and skirts. This is where I'm going to hit up next. I was yours for the taking. Guess I needed a home. But if I'm not mistaken, you were good on your own. Oh, and I know. Didn't know, didn't know it would mess me up, yeah Now I'm truly awakened, uh. Right, so I know this still looks a little junky A lot of junky I have to get down there and get all that stuff that's under there and organize it But I got rid of quite a bit of stuff here As you can see, I have extra room here And this is what this side looks like This used to go all the way to the back So I've got rid of that much stuff Here's my pile, here's my pile. Now I have to get up there and just get rid of pants and stuff that I can no longer wear, as well as some shirts that I don't wear anymore. Ooh, this purging is coming along. So I can no longer wear any of these pants, none of them. See what size, size six, I can't wear none of these. This is a seven, though it says seven, I can't really wear it. And plus, they're no longer in style. You're probably still wearing those. Yeah, 
Honestly, some of this stuff I forgot was even over here. When we came to an end, you don't get to call me up. Tell me that you need forgiveness. You're the one who So I'm pretty much done with purging stuff out of my closet. I still gotta get up there and organize those t-shirts because most of those t-shirts I still wear. So I just need to refold them so they can um, be more organized. Yeah, because most of the stuff I still wear. Uh, but my pile of clothing, let me see if I can get a view. This is my pile of clothing that I'm getting rid of. I still need to organize my shoes and stuff and I do have an organization system that I'm going to use in order to get my shoes set up. Well, hold on just a minute. I just want to speak to y'all for just a moment. Let me prop you up while I continue to clean up my closet. Alright, so I just want to talk to you guys for a minute while I put these clothes in a bag and get rid of them. And it just got me to thinking about how, you know, in life sometimes we tend to hold on to things that are not meant for us. Um, whether it's a relationship, a job or you know anything like that any particular situation and how it tends to clutter up our lives and we tend to hold on to it because we we're rem reminiscing about how it used to be how good it used to be how wonderful it felt back then um and then us holding on to this excess baggage it clutters up our space like these clothes it cluttered up my space so I was not able to see what I could actually wear because of all these extra clothes that were in my closet. Like things that, were, that are no longer meant for me. For example, these size four pants, I know these are no longer meant for me. Why do I still allow it to take up space in my life? It increases the time that it takes for me to find something to wear just like in life, when we're holding on to things that are toxic for us or no longer meant for us, it takes longer for us to uh, get to a resolution or um, to get to a point to where we want to be because we hold on to this excess baggage. But you know, you gotta let that baggage go. What's not meant for you is not meant for you. Yes, it used to feel good, it used to be good, it used to have a great place in your life at one point. But when things no longer serve you, you got to let it go. When it no longer fits you, you got to let it go. You can't allow it to continue to take up space. Because if you're allowing it to take up space in your life, you're not allowing room for growth. You're not allowing new opportunities to come your way because you're so busy sifting through the things that you already are holding on to that you no longer, you don't have space for anything else to come into your space. Like this could be the best thing that could ever happen to you, but you're not allowing it uh, residence in your space because you holding on to all this extra stuff that's not no longer meant for you. So I hope that made sense to you. Uh, it makes perfect sense to me. I'm trying to relay exactly what I was trying, what I'm feeling or what I'm thinking, but like cleaning out my closet gave me so much clarity. Um, about life about relationships about jobs you know and i just wanted to share that with you but and i i hope that you were able to absorb what i was throwing out i don't know it, the the words i was trying to get the words out but um but yeah so i'm going to continue to put this stuff in my bags in these bags and get rid of these bags i'm not going to hold on to them i'm immediately going to take them to a drop-off donation space so it does I don't become the bag lady holding on to stuff <laughs> now that my closet is purged and I have get, gotten rid of most of the stuff that are no longer meant for me or suited for me the clothes that no longer fit now it's time to get life together and organize now it's time to organize everything that um, I want in my space or continue to have in my space see all that or this organization right there is disorganization a word? Unorganization? Whatever. You know what I mean. But now it's time for me to, you know, get back in control of my closet and organize my closet so things will flow better uh, and it's easier for me to find things. Yeah.
seem to focus when you're getting close to me We're like a broken record spinning round and round all year I know that I can do more, I know that you feel the same Why do we keep playing all of these games? I don't wanna go, cause your love is what I want, babe You know that I wanna stay this way forever You know my friends think that I'm crazy Cause you're all that I can see I hope that we won't make it Cause I'm falling here for real You know that I can do more Just wanna care for you, babe Why we keep on playing all of these games I don't wanna go Cause your love is what I want, babe You know that I wanna stay this way forever so this is the progress thus far with the uh, the boxes. So there's four. I want to get two more because I have four and I know my husband, he's going to want two more as well because I have four. So I need to get a couple more boxes. And so next I am going to be switching out the hangers. I bought some new hangers. So I'm going to be switching all the hangers so they all look alike in their uniform. And then I'm going to work on this section and also with the shoes. So I might take care of a wall at a time. So I might heat up this wall first, make sure everything is cleaned out on this wall and then go to this wall and close the door and then go to this wall and clean up everything. Then I hit my husband's side. This side I think will be easier because he has everything so nice and neat and he embarrasses me with his stuff looking neater than mine. So that's what's up next. All right, so up next, I got these hangers from at home. They were on sale uh, for 50% off. So I spent $10 on 30 hangers. They're gray, no slip. So now I'm just going to switch out my clothes. I'm gonna switch out my clothes and hopefully I have enough hangers. So I got four boxes. Hopefully that's enough for me and my husband. So. Watch me under the light. So keep me in your side. So walking into my closet, this is what it looks like thus far. I've started to organize, but I never ever finished. I got these bins here, these shoe bins from uh, the, 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 the container store. And then I got these up here from the container store as well. As you can see, there is more clothes than there are containers. So I'm gonna try to improvise here. And then as you can see, I got all of these gray hangers. I wanted all of my hangers to match. I gotta go back because some of them got switched out but i do have some extra ones i got those from um home goods no at home i got it from at home y'all i get i get at home and home goods oh i gotta think about it before i say it but i need to go back and put some because i do have some extra ones um and so i need to go back and replace the hangers i got these bins here from the container store so i'm gonna i need to go back and organize these as you as you can see like these are all in disarray and i just need when when everything is all neat and put up there correctly then it looks so good um but i just need to oh and then i got this sign that says find happiness if you can see that the light is in the way it says find happiness in the little things and i got that from at home as well so i'm just gonna go ahead and take some of these down these are my husband's things i'm gonna go ahead and take those down and put them in some of these sweater bins here um so they could be more organized and all in all honesty I regret getting these little boxes here um, simply because they're not really, really practical. They're pretty, they're nice to look at, but they're not practical um, when it comes to putting things up um, in them.
this is what the closet is looking like at this very moment. I have my shoe racks, husband's clothes. Now, he has a whole bunch of shoes. All his shoes could not fit down there. Uh, I could either get more shoe boxes or we find another way to store his shoes. But I don't think there's room down there to get any more shoe boxes uh, to put in here. I might get some and put them somewhere else, but there's no room here in the closet. And this is what my side is looking like uh, with my pants folded and stuff like that. Um, it looks a lot better than it did before. I have to say that. There's still quite a bit of work to do. Um, but I do know that, you know, my closet is full to the brim. And I know that within getting another house, that will be another thing that I would have to invest in. We have to look to see if we have more closet space. So this is everything all folded up. Then also I got this little rolling bin to put my hair products in. But yeah, this is it. All right, so this works for me. Oh, also, I do have this extra shelving right here. That's gonna be my next thing to tackle is this shelving to maximize this space. But as for right now, I'm tired and I put so much time and effort into this already. But I have to say it looks a lot better and more organized than it did before. And so that was the goal, to get some organization. I have some organization. All righty. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Donnie B TV. On your way out, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, enjoy your day.